Hello Church, my name is Queen and I'm from Temple Rebuters Ministries. Today is Friday, November 5th, and I'm happy to read the devotional to you all again this Friday. The title of the message is, Listen to the Right Voice, and it's taken from Samuel 30, verse 31, verse 21. And it says, this is the way, walk in it. As I read, may we all be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. A respectable author, along with her husband and friend, were in a mountaintop discussing which direction to go. One guy said, that's south. Another countered, no, that's east. Everybody threw in their two cents worth, until finally the woman's husband produced a compass and said, we can settle this real fast. Within seconds, the compass confirmed they were in fact facing due west. The only reliable source had the final say, and nobody was about to argue with it. In the course of the day, many voices vie for your attention, and some that sound like experts can be dead wrong. Bottom line, you had better known which voice to listen to, because if you look only at your circumstances, you will become disoriented. An, ex an unexpected phone call, a floundering relationship, a lost job, or a sick child can make north look like south and east look like west. When that happens, it's easy to lose your bearings, jump into conclusions, and end up on the wrong path. The Bible says, whether you turn right or left, your ears will hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk in it. There is only one true source of wisdom and truth. And Peter recognized that when he asked, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, John 6, 68. You don't need to know every detail in advance. That's not how God works. Often he doesn't show us the big picture because we would be overwhelmed and think it was impossible. He wants to develop in you an unshakable trust in his character and goodness and acceptance in order to fulfill his plan. You must depend on his strength. Hallelujah. This devotional is teaching us to differentiate between the right voice. Oftentimes we may hear different voices and most times they're probably wrong, except if it's the voice from God. So our prayer today is that we hear the voice from God. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice. So do you know the voice of God? Can you differentiate when God is talking to you versus when Satan is talking to you versus when Satan sends um, ill advice from different people that may have come as friends, relatives, etc. Our main plan is to hear from God and hear his voice. So let's pray. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you for your word today. Thank you for what you've laid upon our hearts in Samuel 30 verse 21, that you are the right way, the truth, and the light. Father, as we continue to trust in you, as we continue to depend on you, help us to know your voice. There are many voices that come to speak to us. There are many ways the enemy will try to lead us astray, but help us, O oh God, to differentiate your voice. As you said in your word, my sheep know my voice. May we know your voice. May we know when you are speaking, and may we also have the grace and opportunity to obey you and follow your voice as you continue to lead us on the path of righteousness in jesus mighty name thank you lord for all you've done we worship you heavenly father in jesus name